I worked in Manhattan on 42nd Street. I was living in Weehawken, New Jersey. You just never imagine you're gonna see something that's going to uh, affect your life and impact your life so tremendously, and not just your life, but everyone's lives. When the war started, once they started sending people over there after the towers had been attacked, the guys were coming back injured, both mentally and physically. This is a healing camp, a place they can heal, and there's no better way to heal than through the arts. John, my son, he teaches voice, he teaches guitar, piano. I teach art, I teach art classes, and we're gonna do culinary arts, and we're gonna have a recording studio, and so building this camp was just so amazing how it unfolded and how it happened. You can look within and start healing there first, and inside out. That's the theory of the, of the camp, is like heal yourself from the inside out. You know, we'll work on all the physical things, we can do the hikes, we can do the fishing, we can do all the physical things, but we really want to get your mind and your heart to a place where you feel whole again and like yourself. They have traveled across the oceans, some still feel the whipping sand. Left their families and all they hold dear to navigate through foreign lands. They fight with honor, no prima donnas, with their unit by their side. Brothers and sisters, all enlisted. For they believe in why they fight. The Wounded Warrior Project sent me to uh, California for three weeks of intensive PTSD and TBI treatment. I learned about John and he told me all about the camp. Naturally, I wanted to go check it out. Just meeting somebody that was so open and so willing to bring somebody in that they didn't even know, you know, you don't, you don't meet those type of people every day. It brings a lot of warmth into your heart, you know, especially when it's felt so cold for so long. I promised when I started I'd never turn anybody away and we haven't. In two and a half years we've had a little over 250 wounded veterans and it just fills my heart full of joy as they come in here and they see the love we have and the patience and the honor and respect that they deserve. They fight for those who gave some, they fight for those who gave all. They fight for the many whose names are on that wall. They come home torn and tattered. They should feel like it matters to me and it matters to you. Before I watch another hero fall, please take my hand. Beside you I stand, I stand tall. Cooking for me allows me to express myself, but it also gives me a playbook for designing my own therapy. You know, I don't always get a choice in what type of therapies I go through. I don't always get an option on what type of medication that I'm prescribed. So cooking gives me permission to really exact myself into my own therapeutic way. It allows me to get lost in the moment. It allows me to forget about the problems that are around me. There's not many warriors around since 9-11 that were severely wounded that don't know John. So that tells you what a difference he makes in his ability to interact with them and the, and the uh, bonds that's grown over the years. And it's just amazing. So I'm, I'm very proud of him. He's a very passionate person and he puts everything he has into his music. You know, everybody can feel it in the room whenever he plays it. It was after New York, it was after several moves. I ended up at UNC Charlotte and finished my music degree. And I can't say enough about the program. I mean, it's been a huge blessing in my life that I got to graduate from UNC Charlotte. If it wasn't for UNC Charlotte, I wouldn't have the gifts that I have. We've got alumni that are coming from our school, from the College of Arts and Architecture, you know, especially in the arts program, that are making a difference in the world, that are trying to make it a better place. They're trying to bring music to people's lives. They're trying to make art and healing 
into people's lives. 